uh, fund was established in October uh, 1993. It was signed by three members on behalf of all six. We were General Fleury, Mr. El uh, Biaz, who is present here, uh, General uh, uh, David Emerson, uh, Wally Berg, Paul Janton, and myself. Uh, we are just three at present, and we sign on behalf of the others. I think in today's times, it's becoming more and more important that all the airports, even in developing countries where perhaps funds might lack, have the opportunity to develop people, but also develop their capacities in domains like security, safety, but especially also environment, and as we have seen lately also in health issues, because this becomes more and more important, and airports are, wherever they are in the world, a crucial part to support those evolutions. I, I think the biggest thing about the ACI Fund is kind of twofold. One, how it's helping to help people in developed nations and help airports in developed nations. But I also think that now that we've uh, reset it, so to speak, to where we're trying to make it uh, perpetual and continue to replenish it, in the, in the early years it was envisioned as something that we would just utilize once the funds ran out then it would be over and now we're looking at it as a lifelong type of uh, program and one that can help airports uh, well into the future. The main contribution of the ACI fund is to transmit these good practices that all big airports and you know big networks implemented to small airports in developing countries which need a lot of help and support to be able to, to get to the higher standards of airport operations. En 1993, enfin, on a créé ça et on a commencé d'abord à organiser des conférences. C'est très important, nationalement. C'est très important, les conférences, c'est parce que c'est le programme. C'est toujours, au départ, c'était la gestion et tout ça. C'est le programme. Après, il y a les, 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 les participants, les formateurs, ou les conférences, c'est les experts du monde aussi. Et on a pris, nationalement, les gens qui ont formé des pays en développement. On a formé ces 51 pays. On a formé je ne sais pas combien. Après, avec le temps, on est passé à 94-95. Avec l'OACI en même temps, on est passé au trainer. Le trainer avec le trainer, c'était vraiment parce que toute la formation va être faite selon les normes de trainer. Mais plus important encore avec le problème de, 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 de sûreté, on a, après ça, après, on a créé un centre de sûreté et moi j'étais responsable de tout ça avec l'OACI et pour le compte de la société pour l'Europe et pour l'Afrique, pour le monde arabe et l'Afrique. Well, happy anniversary. I would like to say happy anniversary for, uh, to the fund. Very pleased to be here. Happy 30th anniversary to the ACI fund. I think we all should uh, think about the three founders of this fund, which have had a great idea 30 years ago to actually create this fund. And I hope we can actually rekindle their spirit in an even bigger way to go ahead and show that this fund can live for another 50, 100 years.